Nevada has never done before an all mail in primary. It is set for tomorrow. Mail in voting is meant, of course, to keep people away from each other amid the COVID-19 crisis. That's right. Let's get over to 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels live to explain what's going to happen here, Joe. Todd, Tricia, the primary is so important. It will shape how the general election will play out in November. And starting tomorrow, people will be able to drop their ballots in person across several sites here in Clark County. It's election season. Despite COVID-19 and racial unrest across the country, 2020 is a crucial presidential election year. And in Nevada, that includes congressional seats. Some judges and the Nevada State Legislature are up for grabs. We've never done an, uh, an all-male election for a statewide election in the state of Nevada in the past. Election Tuesday will be different than any previous primary. 1.8 million ballots have been sent out to voters through the mail. The president has been opposed to the process, claiming it's ripe for voter fraud. But state leaders say there's safeguards in place to protect against tampering. Uh, one of the main pieces of security uh, with uh, voting by mail is the signature on the ballot return envelope. Uh, that signature... Uh, must match the signature we have on file for the voter. If a voter fails to sign their ballot return envelope or the ballot re the signature on the ballot return envelope doesn't match, uh, that ballot won't be counted. Voter turnout for the primary election in 2016 was less than 20 percent, but experts say this primary is happening during tumultuous times and voters may be more motivated to cast their ballots. You know, the combination of, you know, starting with COVID, the economic fallout from that, and then the racial unrest after the you know the Floyd killing in, in Minneapolis have all added to an atmosphere of great intensity, anxiety on the part of the on part of the American public, and it's reflected in Nevada as well. Dr. Robert Lang, a professor of public policy at UNLV, says two key congressional races involving Representative Susie Lee and Representative Stephen Horsford will be watched closely. Both are being challenged by members within their own parties. Lang says incumbents usually enjoy a re-election advantage. If you're within the party, it's your chance to take it. But, you know, aside from a little personal foibles on both, both candidates' parts, not, nothing major has arisen, and they would appear to be on route to retaining the party nomination. Representative Horsford just last month admitted to an extramarital affair with a staffer, and Congresswoman Susie Lee is facing scrutiny after published reports indicated Lee's husband, who is CEO of a gaming company, had received millions in government loans connected to the stimulus bill to keep small businesses afloat. A spokesperson said Lee has no involvement in how her husband's company, which operates casinos out of state, chooses to conduct business or apply for government programs. So tomorrow, if you have lost your ballot or you did not receive one in the mail, you can go to one of three locations across Clark County to get a new one and vote in person. We have details on that on our website, KTNV.com. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.